Oh, uh, hey. Goulash here with October 2016's Horror Block. Yeah, it's the middle of November. Three weeks, very little videos, in fact, no videos. That's how little videos we've been having. Around this time of year, you know, there's a lack of videos. We're gonna try to finish off the remainder of the October videos at some point. I'm not gonna say what point, at some point, we're going to do that. We're going to try our best. And you know what? Also, I'm going to try to fit in a Christmas special video. Hopefully not in January. That would be supremely disappointing. Okay, th you know, this has been an update video so far. Point is, we're going to try to get videos out. But for now, today's effortless video is this. Sometimes you gotta make an unboxing video just to keep the channel going and have something to put up, okay? We get these sent for free, just so you know. So, we're gonna do something with this, okay? Something. So don't criticize us. Don't criticize what you can't understand. Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command. This is a very different box. I don't know why. It's white. Usually they're black. I wonder what that means. Actually, okay, it looks like it's a pretty... Yeah, this is a really different box. Like, the thing is... opens up weird compared to usual ones. And they got... they finally got rid of the Walking Dead quote that they usually have in these boxes. Maybe that's why they changed it. Like, they were like... Yeah, we, we don't want to get sued by the Walking Dead, so yeah, let's... let's change that, you know? Now it just says... Horror Block, and it's got... Bones? On a red background. Not, not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not getting a horror vibe from Bones on a, on a red background. You know, I'm not getting, I'm not getting a horror vibe from this. Okay, I'm getting a Pluto from the Mickey Mouse shorts vibe from it. I, but horror? No, I'm not getting that from a Bones on a red background. That's that's goofy. Okay, so it's not the best new design, but whatever. Ugh. I'm liking this t-shirt so far. It's a Michael Myers t-shirt. It says Haddonfield High Horror 1978 Track Team. And I guess it's kind of, you know, a funny little nod to the fact that Michael Myers walks everywhere. He doesn't run. Really cool. I like that shirt. I can't wear shirts. I'm allergic, but if I could, I'd wear that shirt. It's a pretty cool shirt. And I know I'm wearing a shirt right now. But this is hypoallergenic. This is specially made for me, okay? And, uh, yeah, we get, uh, demonic toys on DVD. Special features include full moon trailers, because the company who makes these shitty movies is, uh, they're called Full Moon. And behind the scenes, like, just, just behind the scenes with an exclamation mark. This is kind of shitty. I, you know... Never been all that interested in full moon movies. They always seem to be about puppets or dolls, and they constantly cross over. Yeah, it's it's a little dumb. It's a little dumb. Oh, this is the this is the the really important thing of this box. The ten dollar credit for something, some kind of promotion. Yeah, that's the best part of the horror block, actually. Okay, it's a Ouija board clip on thing. I I guess it's a Ouija board brooch. It's actually a Ouija board money clip. You, it's hard to see because of the glare, but I guess this is Horror Block's way of confirming that if you're getting a Horror Block, you're probably loaded. Probably have tons of disposable income to spend on Horror Blocks. It's nice to be able to make some videos about this shit, but, you know, it's it's gotten old. Uh, this is a Walking Dead diary official merchandise. It's got the uh, samurai lady on the front. I... I don't care. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I could use this. Um, it's a syringe pen. And you just click right there, and you got it. This is cool. You know, like when you use a level, it's got some red liquid in there. Pretend it's blood. I... I don't know what kind of ink it is. I don't know if it's black or red. It would make sense if it was red, but, you know, I don't care. No one likes using red ink. Red ink always means something bad. Red ink is never good. Or it might be actual blood as ink. And if that's the case, then yeah, I'll take blood over red ink. Yeah. 
autographed picture of Doug Bradley played Pinhead. This is probably the best autographed picture we've they've included in Horror Block. Last month's autograph was a lady from Halloween. Don't bother at reminding me of her name because I have the picture still. I could, if I really want to know, I can just look at it. Funny thing about YouTube comments: they, anytime you don't know something, they, they just feel a this. They just have a need to tell you the right answer. Even though if I really, really desperately want to know, I could just Google it or just figure it out myself. I don't know. Room Org Magazine! It's in every one of these boxes. And individual issues, I want to make this clear. Individual issues are 10 bucks. So this is half of the block. Including, you know, you're getting a decent value for what all this stuff is worth individually. Of course, whether or not this stuff is actually worth what they say they are, that's that's up in the air. Let's see what this Walking Dead diary is worth. It says it's worth $19. So, these two things, $39. Guess what? Get a, can't get a horror block? 20 bucks. And that's not including the t-shirt oh the t-shirt that's got to be like 10 15 bucks the point i'm trying to make here is horror block is for you if you have a lot of money and if you're a horror fan a lot of people complain about horror block i i get it not for me i would never do it because i don't have money dr wolfila doesn't pay me but since we get these for free you know it's cool but if i had a lot of money yeah, I'd subscribe to Horror Block because sometimes you get something neat. The t-shirts are always cool. Oh, the, the signature item this month is the Walking Dead journal. Whatever. Yeah, Horror Block. It is what it is at this point. I don't know if anyone really cares. Get out of here or I'm going to stab you. I'm going to... You know... You don't know what Dr. Wolfila can do. He he might have an actual machine that would let me stab you through the camera and in through your screen, through the internet, and just stab you right in the face. You don't know what he can do. I don't know what he can do either. He He's very inconsistent. Okay, anyway. Bye.